SUNY Oswego's President Stanley sent the email announcing the new tobacco-free policy earlier this week. It is the way forward. I think we all know that this is the way we should be treating ourselves. We want to do all we can to encourage people to quit and to provide for everyone, the non-smokers and the non-tobacco users. However, some students didn't have much faith in the new policy. Um, I think people are going to smoke no matter what, whether the ban is there or not, so I don't really think it's going to be effective. If people are really getting caught on campus and they're being told to get rid of their cigarettes or whatever, they're just going to find places where they're less likely to get caught. Um, I don't think it's going to decrease smoking at all. Now, there won't be much use for these next year either. <laughs> Not that people were using them very well in the first place. The Clean Air Committee wants to provide a safe, healthy, and clean environment. The chair of the Clean Air Committee says there won't be any punishments for smoking on campus. But we're not going to be, you know, out looking for people smoking or anything like that or giving them tickets or, or anything like that. We hope that it's self-regulated. The campus's Clean Air Committee chose Earth Day to announce the new tobacco policy, and everyone could see just how excited they were. Each residence hall received pamphlets, giant posters, balloons, and business cards to post in their lobbies and through their halls. Chanel Burroughs, Oswego Now.